you guys are having a great week so far. For today's little video tip, I wanted to share with you guys some tips on acne scarring, acne, and pimples. Now, a lot of you guys have requested this video, and I know a lot of people deal with acne and pimples on a daily basis, and it can really hinder confidence and self-esteem. So I wanted to share with you guys some of my tips on how to deal with it, so here they are. Tip number one is soaking your blemishes at night. And what I mean by that is, before you go to bed, get a towel and put some warm water on it and place that on your blemish wherever it is for about five to 10 minutes. And what this does, it actually loosens up the pus underneath. I know that sounds so disgusting, but this really helps with loosening the pus up. And then what you wanna do after is add some salicylic acid, just a drop or two and leave that overnight. And one thing that I love using is this one from Clearasil Ultra overnight face lotion and it has salicylic acid in it and it's amazing. I've been using this for the last few years and I love this stuff. It works all the time, especially if you have like a small blemish or like a small pimple. This stuff works really well for that. By using salicylic acid overnight, it really helps draw out the pus from the pimple and it dries it out. So in the morning, you might be able to move it around and if not, it might pop on its own. You never want to poke it or try and squeeze it out. That actually makes scarring a lot more prevalent. So try not to do that. Normally the pimple or the acne blemish will want to come out on its own. So just leave it be and try not to touch it with your hands because hands can be really dirty and can cause more bacteria. Tip number two, if your acne or blemishes are red or swollen, you might want to try some over-the-counter natural ingredients to help with that. Another thing I love using is a vitamin C serum. And the one I love to use is this one by 40 Carats Retinol Rich Skin Care. It has carotene-powered antioxidants, which really helps with stressed skin. So try using these natural ingredients for that. Tip number three, if your acne scars don't fade away on their own, you might want to try and seek out a dermatologist or a skincare specialist. Sometimes with acne scarring, it can be really deep and your regular over-the-counter stuff may not work as well. So you might want to try and seek someone that specializes in that. Tip number four, make sure you always, always, always wear sunscreen. Sunscreen is super important if you like to be outdoors, you like to play sports, you like to go to the beach all the time, make sure you wear sunscreen all the time. And this is especially important if you have acne scarring. It can really make your acne scars darker and it can really slow the healing process as well. So make sure no matter where you go, always wear sunscreen. My favorite one is this one from Alligator super cute little bottle with a little gator on it and it's 40 plus SPF and I like to wear anything over 30 even my makeup is over 30 SPF so make sure you wear something that's gonna help you so don't wear something that's like SPF 5 or 10 because that's probably not gonna really help try and do SPF 30 and higher tip number five I'm gonna be talking about acne fighting foods Try ingesting more omega-3s, and if you don't like salmon and walnuts and that sort of thing, you can always get the pills for that at the drugstore. Just try and get more omega-3s into your system. Some of the things that I love to eat are Brazil nuts, which I love putting in my green shakes. If you've seen my green shake video, I put Brazil nuts in there and almonds in there. Garlic is also one that is high in selenium. These are really good things to help with reducing inflammation, and it really helps with skin's elasticity. You need to drink lots and lots of water. As we speak, I love to drink water out of my boss bottles and I love using these for detox water as well. So you can put slices of lemon, lime, cucumber, some mint and it's delicious. Get in your water intake. I drink about two and a half of these every day. So those are my top five tips to help with acne scarring and pimples. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned some helpful tips here you can share with your family and your friends. Also you guys, make sure you click the subscribe button. I post new videos every single week and you don't want to miss out on a good tip video. Also, if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you have a great tip or trick that you want to share with the community and you want them to know about how you deal with acne, scars, or pimples, or just with self-confidence and esteem, please comment below and let us know. I would love to hear from you and I'm sure a lot of people in the community will love to hear from you too. So make sure you comment below and let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me here on my channel. If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen many of my videos, please know that you're welcome. Your tips are welcome, comments are welcome. So come and join the family and thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. It's really soft on the skin and it's really hydrating as well. So I use this to help remove all my makeup. Next up, exfoliation. What I love to use is this Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Face Polish. This is my all time favorite exfoliator.